Hi, and welcome back to this new video tutorial of OpenCart. In today's video tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be checking out our OpenCart mobile application for the Android devices. So basically what is happening right now is uh, we have already created a demo mobile application and that is live on the Google Play Store. So what you can do is if you want to access that particular mobile application that we have created for the OpenCart web store there, uh, you can go to the Google Play Store and you can search for the OpenCart mobile application and you can download it on your Android devices and you can start making use of the same to check the functionality of the same there itself. Now we are basically providing the Android as well as the iOS applications for the OpenCart uh, web store there. And uh, kindly note that the applications that we are creating are using the Flutter uh, framework there. And we are creating both the applications using the Flutter, uh, what we say as the framework itself there. And uh, after, uh, for example, if you are in the requirement of the mobile app for your OpenCart web store there, then what you need to do is you need to uh, purchase a service for the mobile application from our web store there and thereafter you need to provide some uh, what we say as prerequisite data and after we receive those prerequisite data there then we will be creating the mobile application as per your own requirement there so for today's demonstration purpose what we have done is that we have already created a demo mobile application for the open card web store there that's live on the google play store and uh, we have also created uh, the demo application for the iOS devices that is available on the, the Apple Play Store as well. So you can check those out as per your own requirement. So in today's video tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll be checking out the actual homepage of the OpenCut mobile application, how it appears there, how we can see the banners, featured categories, carousals, and the rest of the sections there that are available within the mobile application there. Apart from that, we'll also be seeing the workflow at the customers and uh, the different account panel options that the customers get within the uh, mobile application there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the mobile end now uh, for the Android devices and let's see how this particular open cart mobile application appears to the customers there itself. So right now on your screens, you can see that I've already downloaded the open cart mobile application on my Android device. And uh, after the installation, you can see there is an icon on the home screen of my Android device. Now to open the open cart mobile application, what I need to do is I just need to tap here on the open cart mobile app and tapping on that would bring up this particular splash screen and after this splash screen uh, you can see uh, the particular thing on your screens there at the very top of the uh, home page there of the mobile application you can see that uh, we are having the uh, featured categories at the very top so if i scroll down uh, scroll to the right here you can see the different uh, featured categories that we had set up in the uh, previous video for the backend configuration there and uh, after that, we have the banners here. So I can scroll between the banners as well. And if I tap on a particular banner, if it's a product banner, then we'll be taken to the product page. Otherwise, if it's a category banner, then we'll be taken to the particular category page there. So the banner that I tapped on was a category banner. So that's why we are taken down to the particular category that's the sale is on there. Or it can also be a collection uh, as well as uh, set up by the admin from the backend panel there. Then we have the popular products as you can see and within the popular products we can uh, tap here on the view all option that you can see here and this would bring up the complete listing of the popular products. So if I tap here on the view all option the complete uh, list of the popular products would be displayed to the customer and the customer can access any one of them as per the requirement there. Then we have the best product section and similarly we have the featured products. Then we have the latest products and then we have the carousal in the end there now this is the carousal that we had added and the carousal can be added as per the requirement depending upon the manufacturer selected there and the images that you would have added for the particular carousal would be displayed here 
And here uh, within this carousal, if I tap on, for example, the Canon one, uh, then the products so uh, that are related to the Canon would only be displayed to the customers there. The uh, same goes with the Dell thing. If I tap on the Dell, then the particular Dell products would be displayed. Now for this particular demonstration, I've just added a few other products because I did not have any Dell products that I'd added within the uh, back in there. So uh, the products uh, which were labeled as of the Dell there are being displayed here itself. The same goes with the Apple itself, the Apple product, is showing apple products only you can see the only apple products are being displayed for this particular manufacturer there and then we have the back to top option so if i tap here on the back to top option that we have here we'll be taken back to the top of the home page of the mobile application itself now in the bottom end you can see that we are having the very first option that's the homes home page then we have the categories so if i tap here on the categories the complete list of categories within store are being displayed and here you can see that uh, the products uh, that are visible within the category are also being displayed around five of them are being displayed if i want to see the complete list of the products within the category i can tap here on the view all option and this would bring up the complete listing of products within the laptops and notebooks category there let's tap on the back button similarly we can access any of the categories there for example if i tap on the clothes then the particular one would be displayed here and we can scroll between the products there and if i want to view the complete list i can tap here on the view all button and the complete list of the products will be displayed to the customer there so this was the uh, what we say as the category section then we have the cart if i tap on the cart right now the cart is empty so that's why it's showing empty cart no item in the cart and from here we can tap on the continue shopping for example and then we'll be taken back to the home page of the mobile application there after the cart then we have the profile section right now you can see that i've logged in there let me log out of uh, the particular uh, application there and now if i go to the profile section you can see that we have the sign in option settings and about uh, section there now the about section has the different sections like about us delivery information privacy policy terms and conditions and tapping on any one of them would display the complete contents of the respective heading that we have set up there Apart from that, we have the settings and the settings, we have the currency chooser for the mobile application and we have the language chooser as well. Kindly note that all our Flutter applications are basically having the option wherein uh, basically, uh, or we can say that uh, our applications are basically supporting the LTR, the left to right and the right to left RTL languages as well. So to demonstrate that, if I go to the language section and I choose the Arabic language here, for example, you will see we have this plus screen and after this plus screen uh, you will see that uh, everything here on the home page has changed into the arabic language from the product names uh, to the different headings there everything is in the arabic language itself right and uh, on the bottom end as well you can see the home page uh, it's in the arabic if i go to the categories categories are in the arabic language uh, the cart icon, the cart icon and the cart details uh, that were being displayed previously are in the Arabic language. And if I go to the profile section as well, the profile section is also in the Arabic language there. Now let's change the language again to English there. Now let's choose it as English. Uh, the app would uh, reopen. Everything is in the English language that's in the left to right uh, format there. And it has been changed from the RTL to LTR itself now let's go to the profile section and let's see how we can sign into the mobile application so here we are having a sign in option so if i tap on the sign in option then we have the option to sign in with email or to create an account or we can log in through the social uh, uh, applications as well like google and the facebook as well so for now we have provided the option uh, only for the sign in with email and create an account there I've just given that uh, the social one as uh, the additional one. That's an additional uh, uh, functionality there. So uh, if I want to create an account, I can tap here on the create an account button. And that will bring up this particular section wherein we have to enter the first name, last name, email, telephone, password, confirm password. You can choose whether you want to receive the newsletters or not. You can check the I have read and agree to the terms and uh, agree to the privacy policies there. And then you can tap here on the create an account button. On the same page, we also have the sign-in option. If I tap here on the sign-in, then we'll be redirected to the sign-in option. Otherwise, if I cancel it out, I can tap here once again on the sign-in with email. 
and I can enter my email password and I can tap here on the sign in option thereafter. After sign in, if you want uh, to uh, set the credentials for the fingerprint login there, then you can tap on the OK option. Otherwise, you can tap here on the cancel button that you can see. Tapping on the cancel button would log in us. And if I now go to the profile section, you can see we have the dashboard, account information, address book, all of those, my wish list, login using, using QR scanner, newsletter, my downloadable products, reward points, your transactions, returns, settings, about and sign out. Now let's go through, through these options one by one. So the very first option that we have is the dashboard. If I go to the dashboard, here we can see the recent orders that we have placed. From here for any particular order, we can check the details of the order by tapping on the details and that will bring up the complete details of the particular order there as you can see. And um, on the details page, if you want to return any particular order product, then you can tap on the return option that you can see here. Here we have the return option. And if you want to uh, purchase any product that you've already ordered, then you can also tap here on the add to cart button there as well. Apart from that, if you want to give a particular review to a particular product that's within an order, you can tap on the reviews option that will bring up the particular product and you can give the rating as well as you can write your review there and you can submit that out. And after the moderation by the admin, that would be visible on the particular product itself. Apart from the recent orders, here we have the address book. Here you'll be able to see your addresses that you've saved. You can edit or delete your addresses as per your own requirement. Or if you want to add a new address, you can tap on the add new uh, address button that you can see. Tapping on that would bring up the particular section to add a new address where you have to give your first name, last name, your address, city, zip code, country, state, and you have to choose whether it's the default address or not. And then you can tap on the save button to save the particular address as per your own requirement. <coughs> Apart from that, if you want, you can also make use of the uh, pin location there to add the address. For that, you have to tap here on the uh, icon that you can see the location icon on the top right hand corner. You can tap OK only this time, for example. And then I tap here once again. I'll tap OK on this. And this will basically open up the Google Maps. And after opening up the Google Maps, we can pin the address as well using the Google Maps there as per the requirement there itself. So this uh, page is uh, kind of taking uh, time there because of my low internet connectivity. Nonetheless, let's go back. Now let me try to open this once again. Okay, now the thing has opened up and you can see select this location right now, the exact location where I am right now. Uh, I'm tapped here on this. I can tap here on the OK button and you can see that the particular location has automatically been selected and has been entered here within the add new address section. And if I want, I can save the address as well. Now let's go back. Uh, apart from that, we have the account information. Here you can uh, basically change your email, change your password. And if you want, you can delete your account as well by tapping on the delete account option there. Or the button then we have the address book uh, this is based the same complete list of addresses there from here you can add the new addresses as well or edit or delete the previous ones that you have added uh, then we have all orders this is plays the complete list of orders that you have placed you can check the details of the orders you can give the rules to the orders as well and you can see the status of each of the orders for example here you can see that we have some orders that are pending some are processing some are complete so on and so forth then we have the my wish list. This displays the complete list of uh, products that you want to purchase at a later point in time there that you have added into your wish list. And from the wish list, you can add those wish list products into the cart by tapping on the add to cart button. Or if you want to remove them out, you can tap on the cross icon on the top right hand corner of that particular product there. And then on the pop up, if you tap on the OK button, that particular product would be successfully removed from your wish list there, as you've seen just right now. And if you want to add it to the cart, you can just tap here on the add to cart and the particular product would be uh, as we need to select some options here. So that's why the product uh, page has been displayed and I'll just choose the color there. I can tap here on the buy now. The product would be added into the cart. If you have any voucher or coupon codes, you can apply them up and you can tap here on the proceed. Then you have to select your shipping method at the checkout time. So here I'll be selecting the flat rate shipping. If you have any shipping comments, you can enter those as well. Then I'll tap here on the proceed option. I'll be uh, selecting my payment method as cash and delivery for the time being. I'll agree to the terms and conditions there. And I'll tap here on the proceed button to proceed further to place the order there itself. 
After tapping on the proceed button, uh, the particular uh, the particular order would get placed, and then we'll be able to see the particular details of the order in my order history section as well. So uh, my internet connectivity is a bit kind of low there, so that's why it's taking a bit of time there. All right, the order has been placed as you can see. Now we can tap here on the continue shopping button, and we'll be taken back to the home page there. Now let's check the profile once again. Now then we also have this option where we have the option of login using QR, code, uh, QR scanner. Now if you've already logged into your mobile application there and you're also opening up the uh, OpenCut web store on your laptop or desktop and you want to log automatically log into the um, OpenCut website there as a customer without entering your username password. Now what you can do is so you can make use of your mobile application just you have to keep yourself logged into your mobile application and then you need to navigate to the login using QR code scanner. Now let me show you and display this particular functionality on the desktops or the laptops there. For that I have this particular laptop here. Now what I'll do is I'll just tap here on the login using QR code. I'll just ask to provide the permission for this time only. And then you can see right now, uh, here I'm on the login page, as you can see. And here, uh, if you see uh, here, I have one option that says login by QR code. So if I tap on that, this will bring up the particular section uh, wherein we'll be able to see a particular QR code, as you can see. Uh, I'll just not uh, show it uh, completely because this would scan and log in us. So here you can see that now it has scanned that particular QR code and uh, we'll now be automatically logged into the uh, what we say as the uh, open cart web store there uh, using this particular functionality itself now let me uh, set it aside set the laptop aside then we have the newsletter if i go to the newsletter section here we'll be able to uh, choose uh, whether we want to subscribe to the newsletter subscriptions or not so you can choose it up as per your own requirement there <coughs> then we have my downloadable products so if you have purchased any downloaded products from the OpenCut web store there using your mobile application, and then those uh, would be visible here under this particular section. And from here, you can see the details like name, size, and date added, along with the order ID and the option to download the particular downloadable product as well. Then we have your reward points. Here you can see the particular date added description and the points that have been uh, rewarded to the customer there. And you can also see the total number of reward points that the customer is holding right now under this particular section. Then we have your transactions. So here you can see the date added, description and the amount uh, for uh, the same. And you can also see the current balance of your transaction there. Then we have the return section under the return section. If you are, for example, you are checking any order and you are returning that particular order then uh, for that return that you have generated all uh, the details can be seen under this return section and here you have the option uh, to check the details as well by tapping on the details you can check uh, the reason for return return history if any edit would be visible to you as well and uh, the rest of the details would also be visible here under this particular section and lastly we have the settings option as we have already seen the language uh, uh, chooser is there we also have the currency chooser. So, for example, we were checking the US dollars. If I choose pound sterling, uh, the app would uh, come up once again. And now uh, the products are in the pound sterling, as you can see right now. Now, let's go back to the profile section. And uh, then uh, we are done with the settings. Then we have the about section. So, for example, if I go to the about us, then the details of the about us page would be displayed. Right now, we have only set it as about us. In a similar fashion, if I go to the delivery, information the particular details would be displayed to the customers and lastly i have the sign out option to sign out of the mobile application so if i tap on sign out i'll be signed out as you can see and then if i want i can again sign in by tapping here on the sign in option and i can sign in or i can create an application or create an account as per my own requirement that too on the go using the mobile device itself so let's go back to the home page there so yes that was much about the open cart mobile application for the android devices and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding the open cart mobile application then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.